Hello and welcome to the tech update of this week. This is Salva. The global affordable smartphone market since 2022 has been dominated by Samsung, with Samsung occupying over 80% of the global affordable smartphone market. But a recent report by Counterpoint Research reveals that Samsung is witnessing a significant decline in the global affordable market, whilst Chinese tech giant Huawei is seeing a massive rise in their market share. Now, this report by Counterpoint research indicates that Huawei has been able to dethrone Samsung to become the global leader of the affordable smartphone market. No, Samsung did some few things wrong. What exactly are those? And what exactly did Huawei also got right this time, allowing Huawei to dethrone Samsung? No, let's dive deeper into this. By the way, in case you forgot to subscribe, kindly do so so you don't miss my next update. For the past two years, Samsung has remained the global leader in the affordable smartphone market, especially with the release of both the Galaxy Z Fold and the Flip models. This allowed Samsung to conquer over 55% of the global affordable market share, whilst Huawei had as low as 14% of the market share in the first quarter of 2023. Even though Huawei was the closest competitor to Samsung as of 2023, but the likelihood for Huawei to dethrone Samsung looked very slim since Huawei for the past four years has been under the US sanction, making things very difficult for Huawei. The recent report by Counterpoint Research indicates that the first quarter of 2024, Huawei was able to dominate the global affordable smartphone market, allowing Huawei to capture 35% of the market share, while Samsung followed at a second position with 23% share of the market share, whilst Honor and Motorola followed with 12% and 11% respectively. Now, when you compare the first quarter of 2023 with that of 2024, Huawei saw a massive growth of over 2 250% growth rate, while Samsung rather saw a massive decline of over 40%, which is quite revealing that Samsung got something wrong this time. In the first quarter of 2024, Samsung is the only major brand who saw a massive decline in their sales volume, whilst brands such as Motorola saw the biggest growth ever in their affordable smartphone market sales. Now, let's dive deeper into what Huawei got right this time. Now, Huawei was able to overcome one of the biggest challenges it faced in the area of 5G. You see, as a result of the US sanction, Huawei lost access to 5G chipsets. This forced Huawei to release foldable smartphones which lack 5G connectivity. This made foldable smartphones from Huawei less appealing to users for some time. But luckily, Huawei was able to overcome this setback, allowing Huawei to bring back 5G connectivity to their device. With the release of the Mate X5, which had a 5G capability, Huawei was able to capture more sales. This particular model remained the best-selling foldable smartphone from Huawei in the Chinese market for over three quarters, which is quite impressive. Now, Huawei's ability to bring back 5G connectivity into their affordable smartphone device enabled people to regain trust in Huawei that Huawei could survive the US sanction in the long term. Now, the decline in Samsung's market share can be attributed to the fact that Samsung became a bit complacent and was unwilling to take on too much risk with their product design and software optimizations. When you compare the Fold 5 and the Flip 5 with the previous foldable release by Samsung, with the exception of the fact that the Fold 5 and the Flip 5 had a larger cover display, there was no major upgrade in terms of the physical hardware as well as the software. Whilst this was happening, competitors such as Huawei, Honor, and Motorola as well as Google were taking more risk with their hardware design as well as their software optimization, making these brands more appealing to users. This year, Samsung intends to release multiple foldable devices, that is, the Galaxy Z Fold 6 and the Z Flip 6, which is likely to be launched in July this year. Can this help Samsung to regain their lost market share? And can Huawei also maintain this new achievement? For now, Apple has not yet decided to join the foldable smartphone competition yet, but it is believed that they may join the race somewhere next year or in 2026. This has been your quick update for today. Kindly let me know your thoughts in the comment section. If you find this content informative, kindly don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss my next update. Peace out.